Minnesota for the 117th time. And the Iowa offense will begin from the 25-yard line. Old school eye formation here, first down and 10 for the Hawkeyes. That's LeSean Williams. They start out with a pass to the sideline. Completes to the 42-yard line. A pitch and a catch to Deontay Vines for 18 yards. That was a third baseman throw. Here's LeSean Williams across the 45 and out to the 48-yard line. Coming off of his best game of the season at Madison, picks up five. I'd say this a couple times today, Anthony. Run heavy formation for the Hawkeyes. They go for the pass, though. Deacon Hill looking and throwing into coverage. Batted out of bounds as he waited and waited. The Iowa fans wait for a flag. Not going to happen. Brings up third down. Empty backfield now. Three pass catchers to the right of Deacon Hill. Third down and five. They passed the ball two of the three plays so far. Three man rush. Stands in, fires, completes. First down, Hawkeyes now working inside a Golden Gopher territory. First and ten, back to the ground. Lee Sean Williams met in the backfield and dropped for a loss. Led by Maverick Baranowski, outside linebacker, loss of four. Normally operating under center, Deacon Hill now. Four-man rush from the shotgun, fires high and wide outside, way behind Deontay Vines. Four-man rush again, third down, 14. Hill looking at the rush, now running out to his right. Eyes downfield, lets it go down the far sideline. A leaping effort and a catch inside the 10 for Deontay Vines. On third down and 14, Iowa gets 36. Only one foot necessary in college. He was able to get that left foot down. I were rushing up into the huddle, but Deacon Hill giving. Williams, a little bit of space up the middle and finds his way down to the five yard line after pickup of just inside of five yards. Now second and goal from the five, Lee Sean Williams the tailback, he tries it up the middle. A little hesitation in that golden goal for front seven is right there. No gain, and now Iowa faces third and goal from the five. Tenth play of the drive is third down and goal. Iowa has converted both of the third downs so far. From the pocket, Hill surveys, throws, late and incomplete. Drew Stevens up and his field goal attempt is good. And they really wasted no time. Quentin Redding and Sean Tyler back deep for the Golden Gophers. The ball hung up in the air there with that wind and from the 10, out across the 15 to the 17 yard line is Sean Tyler. One of the backup running backs here for the Gophers. He's missed a couple of games with injury. Play action. They take a shot right away, right down the middle. Incomplete. Darius Taylor. His first carry. He's missed the last two games with a lower body injury. Not much. Picks up four to bring up third down and six. Jay Higgins, who is number one of the Big Ten in tackles with his first stop. Anthony, big shots for this matchup. And the Golden Gophers will back up five yards. False start. Offense number 69. Five-yard penalty, third down. Galiak Manis. Five-man rush. In trouble. Ball knocked to the ground. Flutters out of his hand as he took a big hit from Joe Evans, who leads the Hawkeyes in tackle for loss and slow to get up. Mark Crawford standing on the one-yard line. High end over end punt. Cooper DeGene, fair catch. He does lead the Big Ten in punt returns, but did not get a chance that time. Check out the run play balance here on drive number two. Start out with a run. Lee Sean Williams, he's been the only tailback carrying the ball so far. That time he picks up two. Second down eight, back to the air. Nico Ragaini, his second grab gets him to the 45 yard line to bring up third down and one. High formation, first time we've seen Jazzy and Patterson. And he's going to be right there at the sticks. Nice job by the Golden Gopher defense. Wind in the face of Tory Taylor. Back-to-back -back Big Ten Special Team Player of the Week awards for him. This is low, trying to drive it through that wind. Bounces down and just crawls into the end zone. They start out right up the middle. Darius Taylor. 
And Kelly McManus has a lot of talent, but as a young quarterback, and he's making his 12th start here as a sophomore in his career, you need a coach who says, you know what, you're my guy no matter what. And he appears to have that here this season. And around, and met in the backfield. Doesn't get past the 22-yard line. Daniel Jackson, their number one ride receiver, meets Sebastian Castro. Third down and seven. Here comes the blitz. Kaliak Manis pats the ball, goes down. Right with their wide receiver. Mark Crawford for the second time already, punting from his own five-yard line. Cooper DeGene, top punt returner in the Big Ten. Penalty marker comes out as he picks his way just across the 40-yard line. During the kick, block in the back, return team number 17. 10-yard penalty from the end of the kick, first down. Caleb Johnson is the tailback, but Hill going to the air, floats it to the far side, almost intercepted on the 38-yard line. He wanted Seth Anderson, but Justin Wally had a shot to pick that one off. Deacon Hill guessed that time, Paul. You could tell he sort of predetermined that he wanted to throw the out route without really eyeballing the curl flat defender. The defender's in position the entire time here. So as Hill, and this is one of the things that can be difficult for a young quarterback. Even when you briefly turn your back to the defense, you have to see whether or not they're in true man coverage that opens up this out route coming from inside out, or whether or not you have a lurk defender in position to drive on the ball. Awfully close to getting there before the ball did. No call, though. Caleb Johnson, first carry, met right as he got to the line of scrimmage. Devin Eastern, big defensive tackle. Picks up three yards, and this brings up third down and seven now for the Hawkeyes. Hill right now, four out of eight for 71 yards. Minnesota, linebacker blitz. Hill finds a man, but a little bit too far out in front at the 38-yard line for a Nico Ragaini. Yeah, that counts as a clean pocket and a throw he expects to make. Torrey Taylor from his own 10. And not his best effort. Will be no return there as it now rolls down to the 30-yard line. And out of bounds, a punt of 48 yards with no return. Minnesota's offense has had the ball twice. They've had a pair of three and outs. Kaliak Manis looking for his first completion. Zach Evans. Nice job of picking his way through the middle right there out to the 40-yard line. Quinn Schulte, the free safety. Minnesota right back to the run out to the 42-yard line. And right now, we just saw those flags gusting. It is to the back, even though it is swirling at times. The flags are blowing in the direction right now where Minnesota is moving. Try the right side now. A cut up, and that gets nowhere. Just to the 45-yard line, Joe Evans. Play action this time. Nice pocket for Kaliak Manis. One side of the field to the other. Penalty marker comes out just as that ball hit the ground. A lot of contact. Jamari Harris on Chris Audvin Bell. And too much contact from Harris. Altman Bell being in the lineup, very big deal Passing for Minnesota. Defense number 27. The ball replaced at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Did you see how he began to tug away at the jersey a little bit as Altman Bell broke out of his route? Minnesota operating inside of Iowa territory for the first time. Zach Evans, a little bit of patience. And a burst out to the 40-yard line. Ethan Herkett, one of the backup defensive ends, makes the stop. Toss sweep. Evans, cut back. And a lane. Second go for first down of this drive. Actually, the third if you count the penalty. Darius Taylor now the tailback. Number one of the Big Ten. 133 yards per game. He'll try the right side as well. Nothing there. Taylor, hole. And that was filled quickly on the 27-yard line. Jay Higgins, again, number one in the Big Ten. And they try the ground game up the middle, and that won't get it. Just inside of that 25-yard line, only got two yards. They call a timeout. They're doing this because right now they have the wind behind their back. And now the opportunity for the specialist to come onto the field. And from a gopher perspective, they're certainly hoping he'll be able to tie this football game. Dragon Kasich, kicker for Minnesota, has had an excellent season so far. He's 10 out of 11. 
Win behind his back from 43 yards out. And he's got that one right down the middle. Best drive yet for Minnesota. Timeouts well used by their side. And we are all tied at three. Second leading rusher. And Anthony, you know what? The more you can do. <laughs> when it's windy, if you can come out and hold on kicks. All the more valuable. Field goal contest so far here late in the first quarter. And the Hawkeyes will begin from the 25. Deshaun Williams, all kinds of trouble in the backfield. A little bit of hesitation, then was swarmed under. Pair of defensive tackles, Devin Eastern and Kyler Ball drop in for a loss of five. <laughs> Iowa starts out with a completion here in the second quarter. Nico Ragaini. Gains 11 and moves the chains. And now they have the wind behind their back for the first time as well. Hill again to the pass. Wants to set up the screen. And Minnesota had that one sniffed out right away. Just last week at Wisconsin. Punted 10 times. And was an absolute star in that game. Quick read it. Muffed it. Went right down and got it. So Minnesota will maintain possession. It's also been a tough day for Kaliak Manis, the quarterback for Minnesota, making his 12th start. He is just one out of three. Starts this drive to the air, second completion. Now to the 20-yard line out of the backfield, he finds Darius Taylor. Mark Crawford giving advice there. He's going to be 30 years old later this year. <laughs> Left side, not much there, but keeping his feet is Taylor. Does a good job to get out to the 25-yard line. A tackle over to the right side of the formation. A lot of movement there. Tim O'Day is our referee here this afternoon. Illegal snap. Offense number 66. Five yard penalty, third down. Into the win, Kaliak Manis behind Crooms on the sideline, incomplete. It's a catch you like to see your receiver reel in for you, Paul, but I do think it's, a, it's another look at a similar thing like I described with Deacon Hill. Mark Crawford from his own five. And just before it went out of bounds, bounced about the 40-yard line, and the Hawkeyes will have good field position. Deacon Hill wants to let one go, have the ball knocked out, and Minnesota believes they have it. And yes, they do. A strip sack for Minnesota, Tyler Newbin from his safety spot. The first time we've seen Deacon Hill truly hesitate and double clutch in the pocket. He felt he knew where he wanted to go with the football at first, the pass protection is sound initially, but then once it starts to break down, look for the double clutch, look for the hesitation. He climbs the pocket, wanted to let it go, he didn't, and then that's where Devon Williams was able to continue to get home on that delayed blitz. These twist stunts that Minnesota's begun to throw at the Hawkeyes the last couple of series have been confounding the Iowa offensive line. Long ride inside and out across the 30-yard line, little RPO action. Evans, little gap across the 30 and out to the 25-yard line. Bring up third down and short. Oh, this is Taylor. Rock down at the 25. He won't get there. No gain. Castro and Jackson keep it that way. Dragon Kasic one for one from this distance right here. Made it earlier. 43 yards. This time into the win. Missed it. Pulled that one to the right. He's one for two in the afternoon. Caleb Johnson starts this drive as the tailback. First down and 10 on the 25. Johnson up the middle. Met as he got to the line of scrimmage. And we've seen that. It's still early, Anthony, but a bit of a theme. The Minnesota front seven has been ready for the Hawkeye run game. Late in the first quarter, Minnesota converted from 43 yards out. That's how we're locked at three. Hill to the outside. And that's a heck of a catch in tight coverage made by Deontay Vines. Bynes now with three catches. That one good for seven yards to bring up third down and short. 
That's the best timing that they've had in a while because this is a curl route, and as he stops, the football is already on the way for Deontay Vines to be able to make this grab with a defender converging on him in Justin Wally. That ball had some RPMs come behind it, Paul. Like you mentioned, that was a nice grab. Jazzy and Patterson, the tailback, but they go with Deacon Hill on the quarterback sneak. And he looks like he has just enough for a first down. And that is first down Hawkeyes. And Hill came in to replace McNamara. That was the Michigan State game Anthony was talking about. This is his third start. Iowa's ground game, Caleb Johnson, if he could have escaped that tackle. And that is a terrific open field tackle by middle line. Williams to keep that to a loss of three. Deacon Hill only six completions in the last two starts, has six already today. Wants a seventh, and there it is. Coming back for it was Seth Anderson. Ryan Ferentz told us during the week, we've got to get him the ball more often. That's his first catch for six yards. This is third down and two. Patterson up the middle, met with resistance and pushed back. He's a yard short. Picked up one when he needed two. Decision time now for Kirk Ferentz. It's great work at the point of attack by the Gophers. Logan Jones has been one of the better centers in the country this season. Wasn't able to get movement on the interior. Second time for the Hawkeyes in fourth and a yard or less with a, just a little bit of a decision to make. They decide to punt it away. Torrey Taylor. High end over end punt inside the 10. Stops at the 7, and you can't do it any better than that. Cooper DeGene, Mr. Do-It-All for the Iowa Hawkeyes. So, Kelly Ekmanis, not comfortable standing in his own end zone taking the snap. Anthony, quarterback, sneaks it out for a couple yards. They bring a blitz. Evans, hole closed up right away on that left side off left tackle. Aaron Graves, defensive tackle, keeps that to a gain of two. Four-man rush in his own end zone. Escapes, fires out past the 10-yard line, and that's caught by Daniel Jackson. He's going to be about a half a yard short. Low end over end. And goes right out of bounds. And the Hawkeyes piecing this together. Complimentary textbook football for them. They pin the Gophers inside the one. On a windy day, Iowa starts this drive with the wind at their backs. LeSean Williams almost got through the line of scrimmage. Makes it out to the 42-yard line. Picks up four. Fullback Hayden Large with a nice block. Right back to it. Williams again doesn't find much. Gophers brought a corner blitz. He didn't make the play, but his teammates kept that to a gain of two. Outside linebacker Maverick Baranowski, the freshman. Hill right now, seven out of 13. Be in trouble. And he will keep it. Only gets to the 40-yard line. And a penalty marker comes out, two of them, on a lot of late contact to Hill. Referee this afternoon is Tim O'Day, and he'll let us know. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 92. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. First down and 10, Hawkeyes on the 25, right up the middle, East Sean Williams. Minnesota front seven, again, right there, as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage. I go right back to the air. Hill makes one man miss to the end zone. Knocked away, and a penalty marker comes in. Justin Wally thought he had a clean knockdown on Deontay Vines, but after the ball hit the ground, Anthony, the penalty marker came out. Pass interference, defense number five. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic first down. Justin Wally has been 
a rather handsy defensive back throughout the season. The aggression in coverage, sometimes he gets away with it here. He does not. Deontay Vines, both players jostling for the football. All kinds of movement. Two more flags come out. It will only be half the distance, but you are now going to move into QB sneak territory. Offside, defense number 17 with contact. Half the distance to the goal, first down. That call against Jaw Joyner. Patterson across the five and down to the two yard line. Had Jennings Dunker, offensive lineman in the backfield with him, by the way, picks up two. From the two, there's that quarterback sneak, Anthony Deacon Hill. Inside the one, no signal yet. And he didn't get there. In the middle of all of it, they try the sneak with Deacon Hill. He's getting some help from his friends on the backside, both Jazzy and Patterson and Hayden Large. See if they go for it again. Quarterback sneak one more time. And the Gophers kept him out again. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 27, half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Iowa has elected to take the 10-second runoff. And here comes Deacon Hill. Tries the quarterback sneak again. This time got there. Touchdown, Iowa. Drew Stevens already on the board today, 23-yard field goal. That came at the end of Iowa's first drive. As a field goal, now has an extra point, and Iowa has a seven-point lead over Minnesota inside of one minute left. And Minnesota now with inside a minute, one more chance. From the five-yard line, out across the 15, huge hit on the 17, Quinn Redding. After reviewing the play, personal foul. Targeting kicking team number 43. The 15-yard penalty to be added to the end of the run. First down, number 43 is disqualified from the remainder of the game. And a quarterback who hasn't got it going yet. He's just three out of six. So they go to the ground game out across the 35 into the 39-yard line goes Zach Evans. Kaliak Manis drives one. Drops by Crooms on the 47-yard line. Minnesota, by the way, right now 0 for 6 on third down. Their quarterback only has eight passing yards. Steps into one near sideline, high and wide to Crooms. Clock stops with six seconds left for fourth down. As Cooper DeGene does lead the Big Ten. Ian Punt returns. Has taken one back here at Kinnick Stadium already this year. And won't get that opportunity now. And the final play of that first half will be that down punt at the 28-yard line. Yeah, gusting a little over 20 miles per hour. Kaliak Manis on the move. Boy, Crooms had a shot at that one, Anthony. He was spun around and couldn't come up with it. Second consecutive pass to the sideline. First down, Gophers. Out to the 30-yard line, Daniel Jackson, their top target, brings that one in for a gain of 20 yards. First and 10 of their own 30, right back to the air. Nice pocket, down the field. Crooms lays out for it and comes up with the catch. After reviewing the play, the receiver lost possession of the ball as he hit the ground. By rule, it's an incomplete pass. The ball will be returned to the 30-yard line, where it will be second down. Right back to the air, four-man rush. Far sideline, a diving catch by Jackson, his fourth of the afternoon. Quarterback sneak, good surge right off the ball from Kaliak Manis, first down Minnesota. Down to one second on the play clock. And just got it off. Pause in the backfield from Taylor, then a burst out across the 45-yard line, gain six. Altman Bell in motion, and cutting it back is Taylor. Gets inside of Iowa territory, down to the 47-yard line. Good for a first down. And those sticks moving for P.J. Fleck, that's a big deal. And on the move to get this second half started. They try it up the middle, and Iowa says, no, you don't. Two-yard gain 
Xavier Wampa, the safety, up to make the tackle. Here comes a linebacker blitz. Kelly Manis. Little slide. Taylor. Cut back to the 40 and across the 35-yard line. Another go for first down. And Anthony, their best drive yet of this game. That play gets him 11 yards. And expect to have 12, 13 play drives. This is the 10th play of the drive. And Taylor, not a big game, but not bad on first down, Anthony. Just across the 30-yard line. Nick Jackson with the stop, but he gets four. Sean Tyler. Little gap off the right side down to the 27-yard line. Deontay Craig. Now Minnesota moving the ball here on this drive, Anthony. They haven't had to do it with a lot of third downs, and third down was a failure down in that first half as they were 0 for 7. Logan Lee, defensive lineman for the Iowa Hawkeyes, 35th start, hobbling off the field there on third down and two. Sean Taylor's the tailback. Fake to Tyler. Quick slant. Ball batted up in the air. Almost intercepted. Falls harmlessly to the ground. Made one from 43 this way. Missed one from 43. And this is from 44 yards out. Wind at his back. And he is now two for two, moving that direction over 40 yards. Still going back to the first half of last week, they have not given up a touchdown in the last six quarters. Caden Weijin out to the right side and tripped up there at the 25-yard line. LeSean Williams begins at tailback after just nine carries for 13 yards in that first half. First one of the second half, more of the same, Anthony, stood up at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Outside linebacker Ryan Seelig was there first. LeSean Williams, the tailback here on second down 10. Iowa's first possession of the second half. Deacon Hill sets up. Fires a bullet to the sideline, and a diving Seth Anderson couldn't come up with a catch to bring up third down and 10. Let's go to the field and check in with Zora. Well, Minnesota is working through some injuries right now. On defense, Darius Green is in the tent after being helped off the field. And then on offense, running back Zach Evans went to the locker room right before halftime. He's now on the bench in sweats with a boot on his right foot and leg. Zora, thank you very much. That's major news to the offensive backfield, the running backs for the Gophers, also the defensive backfield with Darius Green out. Right now, we have the Hawkeyes. Facing third down and 10, they've converted three out of eight. Four-man rush. Deacon Hill to the 30. Wouldn't have been nearly enough for a first down. Tight coverage on the throw to Addison Estrenga. Bounces on the 38 inside the 30 now. So not his best effort in the air, but a very good roll inside the 20-yard line. And zero return from the Gophers, so job well done. Sets up Minnesota for its second possession of the second half. Kelly Atman is sliding to his left, in trouble, and just fires that one away. Iowa did not have to bring the blitz to get to him that time to bring up second down 10. They fake it inside, and Taylor in trouble. Kelly Atman is set. On the 12-yard line, Joe Evans tracked him down. Third down here, third down 15 for a Gopher team that's converted just one out of nine times on third down. From his own five, plenty of time. Far sideline, fires a strike to Daniel Jackson. Kaliak Manis with a fastball right in front of Jamari Harris for 16 yards, a huge throw and catch. The arm strength on display here for Kaliak Manis because the ball had to get there on time off-man coverage and Harris really got himself in position to try and deflect it but because of the velocity from Nathan Kaliak man as the ball got there just in time and got there in a hurry Anthony big celebration for BJ Fleck that completion was right in front of him to bring up first down 10 of the 29 Minnesota also moved right down the field their first possession of the second half that ended with a field goal Taylor met at the line of scrimmage who else Sebastian Castro Half linebacker, half safety, gain of one. Trying to set up a screen. 
Kaliak managed to keep it himself. Little stiff arm at the 30 and makes it out to the 33-yard line. Needs to get the ball to the 39-yard line. Out to his right. Going to keep it himself. Another stiff arm and a reach, but that's not going to be nearly enough. Crawford with his sixth punt. Taylor, by the way, has five. Cooper DeGene, fair catch at that very last moment on the 18-yard line. First and 10 from the 17, right up the middle. And as we have seen most of this afternoon, not a lot there, but he does get out for a five-yard gain. Play action, Deacon Hill in trouble, sacked, and he lost the ball. Fumble of the 10-yard line, Minnesota has it. Second time, Deacon Hill has been sacked with the ball stripped out. Tyler Newbin, the safety, got in there to make the play. It's been delayed pressure that got home earlier in the game for Minnesota. This time, you're going to watch Tyler Newbin come right as the football gets snapped. But he comes from the third level. And a young quarterback turns his back to the defense. A little methodical in the way Deacon Hill gets his eyes back around. He had no idea that one of the best safeties in the Big Ten Conference was bearing down on him. Another strip. Tyler Newbin, Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week back in Week 1. The most experienced gopher in his 50th game. Huge play. Devin Williams also in there. And just like that, Kaliak Manis back on the field. First down and 10 for Minnesota, just outside the 10-yard line. Down 10-6. Darius Taylor across the 10, but not much further. Little surge at the end down to the eight yard line, gain of two. They fake it to him. Kelly Menis to the 10 yard line. Kind of dropped his head, conceded the tackle there. Kyler Fisher, outside linebacker. Kelly Menis looking, end zone. Too much. Daniel Jackson, intended receiver, didn't have a chance as the ball sailed out of bounds. The wind is behind him, might have played a factor. Jamari Harris had the tight coverage. And this one from 28 yards out. Minnesota now only trails by one. And they're still in search of their very first touchdown. Low kickoff. Way out the back of the end zone again, wind aided at over 20 miles per hour. Caleb Johnson is his tailback, and he gets it for the first play of the drive. Tries to turn the corner and brought down at the 28 yard line. Jazzy and Patterson is the tailback now. Play action to him. Rushers in his face, nowhere close. Third down, seven empty backfield, at least to start here for Deacon Hill. And now joining him in the backfield is Lee Sean Williams. Three-man rush, stepping up, firing to the far sideline. Sun may have been in the eyes there of Seth Anderson, leading to that incompletion on a well-thrown ball. There is a penalty marker in the backfield. Holding offense number 78. The penalty has been declined. Fourth down. Torrey Taylor's six punt, low end over end, fair catch called. Caught it the second time to hit Quentin Redding there on the 27 yard line. Darius Taylor right up the middle. And a strong finish there at the end gets him across the 30 yard line, gain of four. Nick Jackson, outside linebacker with the tackle. That rust from not playing for the last two games with a lower body injury. Play action to him. Nice pocket. Kaliak Manis low. And on third down, they've converted only two out of 12 times. This is third down six. Four man rush over the middle. They'll need the catch and the run, and they get it. Big hit on Jackson, but he picks up a first down on third and six. Tyler into a big pile. Barely made it back to the line of scrimmage. It might be the last play and likely will be the final play.
Plenty of tension here heading into the fourth quarter of the trophy game. Total offense in that third quarter. Very much to the way of the Gophers. 101 to negative three. To the air. Kaliak Menis. Ball might have been tipped there at the line of scrimmage. Yes, it was. Came out of his hand funny. Four-man rush. And they'll need the run here. Near the 50. Tight rope yeah. on the sideline. P.J. Flex says they got it. And yes, they did. Now inside of Iowa territory. Taylor cuts it back. Castro is there, but he drags him down to the 42-yard line. Top-notch cutback right there as Jay Higgins, Iowa linebacker, told us he was very good at yesterday. They keep feeding him, skips it out to the right side, and this time the Iowa defense is there. Y.A. Black, he was questionable today with an injury, keeps that to no gain. Daniel Jackson, one-on-one -on -one up top with Cooper DeGene. Plenty of time on the play clock. Ten seconds. Kaliak Manis. Far sideline, not a chance. As you pointed out, Jackson's single coverage, but the ball was skipped to him. Mark Crawford on his own 45. Cooper DeGene steps up. Fair catch. He was touched there, but and here comes the flag. Two of them. Clean catch just inside the 10-yard line, but there was contact on the 32-yard punt with no return. And Hill has struggled in that second half. Look at that. 0 for 4. Also has a turnover. Has that one knocked down at the line of scrimmage as well. Caleb Johnson tries the line of scrimmage. Little surge there at the end. Gets him out to the 27. Jack Henderson, active strong safety with a tackle there. Gain of three. Empty backfield for Deacon Hill on third and seven. Quickly out of his hands. Well behind his intended receiver, Ragaini. And both quarterbacks trading inaccuracy on the most recent series there. Minnesota fans celebrate. Torrey Taylor, little move to his right. End over end punt. Fair catch called for on the 28-yard line. Averaging 133 coming into this game. Toss sweep. Trying to pick his way. Cuts it back. Good game. First down, Minnesota. Like the patience right away, then a good finish to move the sticks. Right back to the ground game. Taylor gives way to Tyler. Hard running up the middle. Picks up six. Tackle made by Kyler Fisher. He's only nine out of 22. Nice pocket this time. Touch pass down the field. Got his man. Daniel Jackson inside the 20. A shot play to Jackson. And the Gophers are in business with a gain of 39 yards. 39-yard passing play, longest of the season for the Gophers yet. Kaliak Manis keeps it himself and brought down. Not even close against North Carolina and Michigan. This is awfully tight here, early fourth. Tyler cuts it back. That was a good call. Gets him inside the 15-yard line. Down to the 13 and a gain of five. Iowa brings four. Good pocket. In and out of the hands inside the 10-yard line of his big tight end, Brevin Span Ford. First time we've called his name in the passing game, Anthony. Not the way he wanted us to. For the first time, Minnesota has the lead. And no chance to bring that one back. Iowa will begin. Right now, Sean Williams knows about a loss. Devin Eastern throws him for a one-yard loss as that Iowa offense continues to struggle against the Gophers. Iowa with zero rushing yards in this half. Quickly out of the hands and almost intercepted, but a penalty marker comes in. Justin Wally had his hands on it. Steps in front of Deontay Vines. We'll check in with Tim O'Day. Holding, offense number 67. 10-yard penalty, second down. See if they can get any of this yardage back. They will not. Deacon Hill brought down at the five. Jalen Logan Redding gets the job done. Third down, 28 from his own end zone. Deacon Hill steps into one over the middle. Almost picked off at the 25-yard line by Tyler Newbin. 
Iowa has rushed for negative eight yards in this half. Tory Taylor gets a high one away. Quinton Redding, fair catch. Sean Tyler, right side, cuts it back. Castro was there to meet him. And he just barely made it back to the line of scrimmage. Tyler, right back up the middle, driven backwards when he got to that 45-yard line. Gain of three. Iowa showing man coverage. Tyler, shifty in the backfield and will not get anywhere near the first down, but the clock will continue to tick as he picked up a couple of yards there. You hear the Coop chance, Cooper to Gene, back to receive the punt. Number one of the Big Ten, and punt returns. Fair catch called for on the 13-yard line. To the air right away. Little pause, little fire, 20-yard line complete. Seth Anderson hauls that one in out to the 23-yard line. Iowa coming into this game, three and one. Quarterback sneak easily gets the first down, and long quarterback sneak. Won't see many much longer out to the 30 to move the chains. Gain of seven yards. Third start. He's been along for the ride with a couple of Iowa wins to the air. As he was hit, drilled as he got rid of that one by Anthony Smith. Defensive tackle got him. The lead to the incompletion. He's going to have to come through in the passing game like he never has here. In the pocket. Still wants to throw. Might have been beyond the line of scrimmage, but finds a completion. Penalty marker comes out. Addison will string of the tight end with the catch, but we will check in after a plausible 12-yard gain here with today's referee, Tim O'Day. He was flirting with that line of scrimmage. Flirting with the line of scrimmage. The pass came in from the back judge. Illegal touching. Offense number 87 went out of bounds on his own, came back inbounds, was first to touch the legal forward pass. Ball will return to the previous spot with a loss of down, third down. Hill, four-man rush, scanning, firing, diving effort. Would be right at the first down six. That's Addison Ostringa, and he did make the catch. Just enough for a first down. And with those three timeouts, still plenty of time to go to the ground game if they'd like. To the air, taking a shot down the near sideline. Ball thrown well out of bounds. Seth Anderson had no chance to bring up second down and 10. Clock stop, 235 left in the game. Wind would be at the back of kicker Drew Stevens. His long in his career is 54 yards. Quickly out of his hands. And down to the 42-yard line. Nico Ragaini uh, didn't get much there. Just got back to the line of scrimmage. And Iowa now third down and 10. 220, 219 and ticking. Trio of timeouts left. Deacon Hill just 10 out of 25. Slow snap to him. Three-man rush. Rifles one. No chance. Big hits. And no flag. And you have Tory Taylor. Average 50 yards per punt a week ago. See if he can flip this field. High end over end punt. Fair catch called for. At the 12-yard line. 159 left in the game here in Iowa City. Florida Rosedale on the line. And Minnesota will take over here, leading 12 to 10. The tailback is Sean Tyler. Left side, both hands on the ball. Made about a half yard past the line of scrimmage. And here come the timeouts. First one used by Iowa. Well, they're going to throw it. Kaliak Manis looking in trouble. Well behind his receiver and incomplete. Flirting with an interception. Now they run it up the middle, not a lot there. Out to the 17-yard line, timeout called by Iowa. Mark Crawford steps up to the five. High end over end punt, DeGene not gonna touch it. Until now, little spin down the sideline, got some space, here he comes. Cooper DeGene cuts it back, 25, he's got a chance, he scores! After reviewing the play, the returner waved his left hand, which is an invalid fair catch signal. Therefore, by rule, the ball became dead upon recovery. The ball be placed at the 46-yard line. 
Clock operator, please reset the game clock to one minute and 33 seconds. 133, please. Thank you. Reggie Smith, your reaction. All right, initially, the punt returner points at the ball, which is something that's allowed. However, with his left hand, he begins giving the getaway signal, as you can see him waving here. And this constitutes an invalid fair catch signal that's not a penalty, but it causes the ball to become dead at the spot of recovery. Proper ruling and replay. So that's because he gave the, the getaway signal, correct? That, that's correct. Again, Drew Stevens, the kicker for Iowa, would have the wind at his back, career-long 54 yards. Deacon Hill, here comes the blitz. They got it. Dropped him on the 39-yard line. Danny Strigo, loss of seven. Iowa, one timeout left. Hustle up, and they get right back on the ball. This time, a three-man rush. They get to him as he released the ball, and he overshot Addison Ostringa to bring up third down. Yeah, that final timeout remaining. Deacon Hill right now, 10 out of 27. Another three-man rush. Let's one go. Intercepted. Picked off by the Gophers. Justin Wally slams the door shut. Best formation in football for any team. That's victory formation. Kaliak Manis takes the knee. Iowa Hawkeyes one timeout left, and it looks like they have just used that final timeout. First round pick at QB. Michigan, first round pick at QB. A couple of the top offenses in America. Joe Rossi told us he feels this defense has been growing, has performed well in many situations. Punt return that would have been a touchdown in the final moments, and penalty markers come out right now. Three of them. Clock stops, 31 seconds left. Now we could also have a 10 second runoff after this call. Delay a game. Timo Defense number 85 slapped the ball prior to being snapped. Five yard penalty, third down. Boy, Cooper DeGene, almost the hero, had the All punt right. return, called touchdown on the field. Illegal touching, though. After they took a long, long look at that, they brought the play back. Iowa's offense could have get it done, and now clock ticking away. Seven, six left. Couple of firsts here. Minnesota wins in Iowa City, first time since 1999. P.J. Fleck, for the first time in his career, lays ownership to Florida Rosedale. 